This video is designed to facilitate the installation of the Nuvo 3000. First, turn off the breaker to the pool pump and turn the filter valve to the closed position if you have one. It's probably a good idea to turn off the timer as well just for added safety. Begin by opening the box and take out all the internal components. All the plumbing fittings are included for the 1.5 and, and 2 inch pipe. If your current plumbing is 2 inches, you will not need to use the 1.5 inch adapters. All the rest of the fittings will be used for the installation. Locate an area of plumbing after the filter on the return side that has a pipe that's in a straight line of 18 inches or more. It's best to install the Nuvo after the filter so that clean water will keep the quartz sleeve clean. Measure a 15 inch long segment of pipe, then mark it as shown. Cut the pipe segment and remove it. Clean the pipe where you will be gluing the fittings. Now use PVC primer on the pipe to clean the pipe and then glue them. Then locate the two 90 degree street elbows and use primer on the elbows to get them ready for gluing. Be sure they're aligned perfectly to one another so that the chamber will fit properly. Next, use PVC glue on the pipe and the street elbows and carefully align them and glue them together. Again, make sure the 90 degree street elbows are perfectly aligned so that when you attach the Nuvo to these elbows, it will fit properly. Glue the union tails to the street elbows as seen here. First, use PVC primer on the union tails and on the 90 degree street elbows. Then glue them together carefully. Wipe off any excess glue with a towel or your finger. Now repeat the process on the opposite side. Fit the Nuvo chamber onto the union tails and secure using the nuts provided. Make sure water enters through the bottom and exits through the top opening. Take the Nuvo transformer and measure the distance to the timer box from the Nuvo chamber. Stretch out the cable and make sure there's enough cable to reach the timer box. If you need to, you can eliminate some of the excess cable. Secure the Nuvo transformer to a pipe near the chamber so that it is not sitting on the ground. If you install the unit sitting on the ground, it will void the warranty. Secure the Nuvo transformer to the pipe using tie wraps, as shown. Cut the excess ends off the tie wraps to make a neat installation. Connect the power cable to a 220 volt connection using the schematic in the operator manual included in the box. It's best to use the pump timer so that the Nuvo always has flow when the lamp is illuminated. Locate the lamp as seen here. Be very careful not to touch the glass part of the lamp with your fingers. The oils on your fingers will damage the lamp and reduce the life expectancy of the lamp. Now unscrew the top connection on the Nuvo chamber as shown. Connect the lamp as seen and gently push the lamp into the chamber all the way in. Make sure you do not touch the glass part of the lamp with your fingers. You have to use gloves or a paper towel so the oils on your fingers do not touch the glass part of the lamp. Now tighten the connector snug as shown. Now we're ready to test to see if the unit is holding water or if it leaks. Remember, if you have a multi-port valve, open it back up to filter before you turn your unit on. Turn on the timer box and make sure no water is leaking. If water is leaking, tighten the necessary fitting more securely. Now your installation is complete. 